So I'm trying to find something to use with pictures, and I was looking for something um, unusual, and I wondered what happens if I can search Twitter for pictures. I came upon TwitCaps, and I tried to search it through different ways. Couldn't find anything really useful. Um, also, eventually, when I watch these for too long, I end up getting some stuff that I really don't want to see. So then I found, um, where am I at? Twixy, T-W-I-C-S-Y, and I started searching by hashtag. So these are all the pictures, or at least a portion of the pictures. I'm not sure if it's really all of them. I don't think it's all. There's a portion of the pictures um, that were tagged with GSISPD from our PD session with Al in November, and I can sort it by date, or I can sort it by relevance. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but I'm still not sure what I could do with this. I mean, it's a good record of my own professional development. Then I was wondering, you know, what if I took this idea and um, applied it to, sorry, I'm giving away what I'm about to do, and applied it to some kind of um, current event. So I didn't use Twixy. I just wanted to try out different uh, Twitter picture search engines. So I came over here to PicFog. Okay, so I'm over here at PicFog, and um, let me go back just to the main page because I have got all this stuff in here. And I was like, okay, what's a contemporary issue? I searched for soul, and I got I got things that are around me that might be useful. Say I want to find out what people in soul are thinking about, but I can't really think of much right now to do with this. I thought, okay, I need something that has got more um, uh, more of a political event. So I searched for Syria, and I got these different pictures, right? Not as many as I thought, but I clicked on this one, and I was like, oh, wow, first day of school in Syria, martyrs being recognized. And I thought, wow. But then I thought, well, how old is this? Who posted it? I really don't know. So I copied the link, all right, and then I opened it, Bajoom, and I've got here the same picture, Okay, but I can find out that it was done one year and four months ago. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, I need to search for Syria in Arabic. So I go over to Google Translate, right, and I type in Syria, and I, I, I hit Translate, okay, and I get this. So I now copy this, and I'm going to go back to my PicFog, and for some reason, it works best if I go back to this main page. I'm going to paste in Syria in Arabic. And I get, oh, all these results. So many more. And I'm sorry, some of them are a little hard to look at. But here's a, a real-time picture of kind of what might be going on in Syria. Now, again, I'd, I'd really have to look at these carefully. Um, here, let's just pick this one. Um, So we've got what appears to be women, women soldiers, um, and I don't know what the caption is. So let's see, if I take this, it's obviously going to be kind of odd if I translate it in uh, Google Translate because people don't use standard English um, in Twitter, but new model of, of followers in Bashar. So, you know, if you put enough of this together, or you could even connect with someone who speaks Arabic and ask them to translate it. You could get kind of a very real-time picture of what's going on in a country just by tweeting things. And I'm sorry, I'm opening this, and, and it's somebody that looks injured or dead on the street. Um, yeah, but, you know, you can you can get an idea of what's going on here. Um, you've got a, a, what appears to be a child sleeping. Um, and again, we could take what they say. Sorry, I'm having trouble. Ugh. It's not my mouse day. Or maybe I should say it's not my trackpad day. Eh. You see what I'm saying. You know what my point is. You, we could take some of this, we could, we could translate it, and we could get something of an idea of what it means, okay? Child hurt in bombing and then died from the cold. Very, very sad situation. But what a way to, to learn about it. Um, maybe find out when it was posted. Uh, it's a retweet of a retweet, it appears to be, um, you know, could, could find out all kinds of things. So this is my idea for pictures, not sure what I could do with it. Um, I'm glad there are some pictures of the flowers. Very sad situation going on. 
So what else could you do with this? I think you'd have to keep uh, the focus narrowed somehow. All right, that's all for now. Bye.